Hello viewers, um, today, um, the video that I'm gonna talk, well, what I'm gonna talk about today may be a controversial topic, it's about the, um, recent Apple versus Facebook, um, controversy, um, with, you know, Apple adding in the, um, do you want to be able to track? Um, do you want this app to be able to track you and let you, you know, get, gather information off of you? And Facebook's like, no, that's bad, you know, um, that's gonna hurt small businesses and, um, it's a monopolistic practice, it's bad for the economy um so I just am here to give my thoughts about that because um I, I don't know this is just with the Apple controversies that have been going on recently I'm just I don't know it might be because I'm an Apple user and I you know think that their products are pretty much very good they um for example my um my iPhone here um has been has been like um, in use for seven years. Um, it was used by my dad before me, and it was it's a hand me down technically, and it it's starting to hit its it's starting to die. Um, the touchscreen has some issues where it will like randomly freak out or something. Um, and it it's on some apps it doesn't really run r very well. Um, so, and the battery is basically, um, doesn't work very, it, the battery is, it, it is horrible, because it's, the quality has de degraded. Um, but, you know, I haven't had that many bad experiences with Apple products. Um, just a side note, um. When it comes to their Mac OS versus Windows, I am a more, you know, Windows user because, you know, um, since I use the Microsoft ecosystem a lot, like um, Office 365, that sort of thing, I like Windows for that. And plus, you know, Windows has a little bit more, you know, better gaming quality and that stuff. But I believe Macs also have their... Um, purposes and they have their advantages. One is that, you know, they're Unix based, so you have more, I don't know, um, I don't know how to describe this, but I don't know, you can use more commands, they're easy to learn and they're more universal to the Linux and, um, Unix uh, based operating systems, um, Windows, it's different, um, but they did add Linux support to Windows, um, I do need to note that, um, but, um, another thing that's nice with the Apple products is, uh, the just the nice integration with them with all their services because for example um, this iPhone here um, this iPhone here um, can link up to um, this watch and you know whereas you know like a Fitbit and it doesn't require extra software to link up um it just requires the watch app and really that's just a the firmware and everything is already installed into the iphone it doesn't take up any extra space and with, with this iphone i space is a constant issue because it's this is only 16 gigabytes of storage so i'm constantly having issues um 
so that watch instead of like a fitbit or something where you know you'd need an extra piece of software from google to actually you know enable it to you know work with all its functions um and it doesn't and there's some functions that it lacks like um health the apple health app integration i like that this that the watch has health uh, apple health integration um i like that um it allows me to easily like control my music and um you know send messages and stuff although i don't the music part I do use a little bit more, but the send messages, um, not so much. Um, phone calls, um, I don't usually place through that because it doesn't let me, since um, this does not this does not have cellular service. This is um, I use Google Voice for this, or um, sometimes Microsoft Teams, um, since I do have a personal Microsoft Teams account as well as. Um, the one provided to me through Office 365, through um, the act, um, my workplace's Active Directory. That that's what it calls it on the. Um, that's what it calls it on my Microsoft account. Anyway, um, I'm not going to get into specifics about you know what what that actually is or what the organ what I'm talking what the organization I'm talking about is or, you know, any more details into that on what type of organization they are. I just going to call it the workplace because that's what it's considered on Office 65. Anyway, I, I keep getting off task here, off focus, but, um, the thing with the Apple versus Facebook thing. And this is how I felt with it's kind of it's similar to what I felt with the app, the Epic versus Apple situation. Um but that was a, one was a little bit different. Um the Facebook versus Apple. Um so I already kind of went over the synopsis of the what's going on the Facebook is basically, you know, um, mad at Apple because Apple is um, it, setting up something where it will ask users if they wanted to be want to be tracked across apps and um, you know have that data sent back um, for ad tracking and Facebook's like no you're gonna destroy this you're gonna affect the small businesses and um, hurt the economy. Um, see, and then here's where my views come into this. See, instead of Facebook, you know, you know, putting up a big fuss about it, like, you know, you're going to destroy everything or whatever they could instead you know instead of you know trying to you know track their forcefully track their users what they could do with when apple rolls this out is they could ask their users if they wanted to be tracked like um or they they could ask that their users allow tracking for example i use a service called tapas it's a online web comic platform and um the authors on there will re request that you know you use the uh you you en enable ads so that they can um if you cannot support them with like um if you can't you know become a patron or whatever um you you can still support them with further work because not because it's a free it's like mostly a free platform there are some stuff that you know requires um ink that's what their the tapas currency is um you can get see um with tapas it's a little bit easier to get than webtoon coins 
because you can actually, you know, get that for free through various methods, like taking surveys, watching videos, completing offers, uh, that sort of thing. But, um, and the, uh, and that's one of the easiest ways to, su ways to support the creators. And I, you know, I turn on my, I turn off my ad blocker for Tapas because, you know, I like some of their content, so I want them to continue making content. Um, so I support them by not blocking ads. Um, Facebook, just maybe instead of, you know, fighting this in a legal battle, they could instead just, you know, politely ask the user to allow tracking. Because it, I feel like Apple's stance on this is right. Y you shouldn't be forced to let apps track you. You, you should be able to opt out of it if you want to. Not, you know, don't get an option at all. Um, and actually, um, tracking of that stuff, Steve Jobs, um, kind of, you know, talked about that, like, giving the users a choice to be allowed to, like, track and, you know, because some users may allow it and then other users may block it, you know. You also... have to, I don't know, um, I, don't know. I just feel like Facebook's making a big deal about this when they shouldn't, they should just, you know, suck it up, because, you know, it should be the user's choice. The user should get a choice on what um, information other companies can see about. Because I feel like, you know, um, I don't know if I would necessarily want, you know, an app to basically track me when I go to another app and do work. Um, because, you know, they don't, it's not necessarily stuff that they need to have access to. Or they need to know, necessarily. Um, on a side note here, I do enable the analytics sending because I feel like that can help, you know, um, the data that I contribute can help, I don't know, make apps better. Um, so I feel like by sending that data, it can help apps. But, you know, you have to give users the option. That's, that's basically what, what I'm trying to sign up. Um, I'm gonna have to cut this a little bit short, but you have to give users the option. That that should just be... Now, with the App Store thing, it's a bit different. My stance on that is a bit different. The privacy thing, yes. You need to give the users the option. But, like, the App Store, I feel like, is one of the things that keeps iOS, you know, secure. That's what, you know... I feel like iOS would lose its a lot of its security if they started allowing... Um, third-party app stores. Um, what Epic did, um, which was slide in a third-party um, payment or their own payment um, system into their app without um, for in-app purchases without you know without going through the Apple thirty percent you know cut on in-app purchases and just, you know, going direct to Epic, um, they violated Apple's terms and services and they got pulled. Fortnite is actually still pulled to this day. I looked it up. Fortnite is not on the App Store. Um, and I believe that Apple was in the right in that situation because, you know, Apple wants to create a secure platform for their users. And what Epic, by Epic going around that and 